This video is from a float trip down the Grand River in August of this past year. The river was pretty low and clear. We had a storm front rolling in, which you'll see toward the end of the video while I'm paddling frantically back to the dock. I was using two techniques, uh, which you'll see almost all of the fish in this video caught on. The first technique which you're seeing in this video is taking a 4 inch Cinco style bait, Texas rigging it with a very small, lightweight. In this case, it's a big bite Roja cane stick. Since I started using this setup, I've had a lot of success, especially for numbers. So a small creek would be perfect for this technique. I really like to throw it around wood as a finesse option. I didn't have to downsize my line too much. 8 pound test seems to work perfect for this. I'm throwing it on a 7 foot rod, which is about the length I typically use in my kayak. Light action, fast tip. The other technique which you're seeing in this clip is throwing a small swim bait on a plain jig head. This is one of, one of my go-to's for the last two years or so. I really like it in tough conditions, really hot and really cold. Uh, works well for pike as well. The other technique which you're seeing in this clip is throwing a small swim bait on a plain jig head. This is one of, one of my go-to's for the last two years or so. I really like it in tough conditions, really hot and really cold. Uh, works well for pike as well. Just remember if you're targeting a specific species like pike, it doesn't hurt to go up a little bit in bait size. Uh, this is especially true later in the summer towards fall. This fish right here is a good example of what a swim bait can do for you. I do like targeting brush piles and different things of that nature with a swim bait, but where I think it really shines, especially in a river, is being used as a search bait in situations like what you would use a spinner bait for. I'll throw this thing out, and I think at this cast I actually just threw it out to get, prevent a backlash, get some more line out, and I ended up getting this fish. Uh, you can, this is the type of thing you can do all the time with this. It's perfect for finding little pockets, hidden rocks, different things you didn't even know about. This overhanging branch is a good example of cover that you're going to want to look out for in the middle of summer while you're going down a shallow section like this. There's only really a few places the fish can hide, especially when they don't have any deep water to go to. And these overhanging branches provide a lot of shade that they can use to protect themselves from the sun and ambush prey. And generally they'll be on some kind of bend or something like that where there's a little bit of slowdown in current. Excitement about education back. You know what I say when I address teachers? We all. By the way, I'll do this right now in this room. Only three of us. So let's, let's take a look. In your life, with all the teachers...